Hi guys, my name is Salta and on this channel I share a lot of information about what it's like to live in Kazakhstan and this video is gonna be the beginning of a whole new series on my channel which I haven't covered myself yet and I haven't actually seen it much uh, myself but this time my brother is getting married so i am actually witnessing all the process of kazakh wedding traditions so today i'm gonna explain you all the little steps because aside from the actual wedding ceremony there's like so many little um, events and like steps to the actual wedding and sometimes those are more important and there's more traditions involved before the wedding because wedding is more like westernized but the traditions that come before the wedding are the most interesting and they are so meaningful and there's so many cool things about every step that um, is involved in the wedding ceremony and process so let's start from the very beginning where the two for example my brother and my sister-in-law are supposed to get married so they tell um, the, the parents so in our case my parents passed away so we have our aunt um, who helped us to start setting this up and the my sisters-in-law uh, mom and her aunt also came to this ceremony which is called Tete Shai which is called sweet tea and I was there my aunt was there and her mom and her aunt was there so four of us met and we kind of discuss how the wedding is going to be uh, going through because for my brother and my sister-in-law they don't care too much about the wedding traditions the Kazakh wedding traditions but for the relatives it matters a lot because they want to meet the, the other family so basically if we don't follow all those traditions uh, we don't actually feel like they got married so for us to to like be at peace with the with the idea that my brother got married or for them uh, that my sister-in-law got married they need to see all the relatives they need to talk to us we need to like get together somehow and like and there's like gifts there's so many traditions that are involved so we first came to that sweet tea and we decided that we're gonna be doing we're gonna be exchanging gifts we're gonna be doing all the traditions so there's actually two weddings in Kazakh wedding so they decide if they're gonna do both of the weddings, if they're gonna do gifts, if they're gonna do um, all the little steps. The whole thing is like gonna be probably separate videos. But the most interesting part to which I'm gonna take you today is how we did shopping for gifts because we had this list of people that we're supposed to provide gifts for when we go to Kodaluk, uh, when we meet the, the relatives of the bride. And so we were searching for those gifts for three days. And there's like three different types of gifts. One is like called kit, which is just presents for the relatives, which could be like coat. which could be uh, gold necklaces and rings and um, earrings and things like that. And for the father of the bride, we got like this uh, fur type of hat and like a coat, really warm coat for winter. <laughs> came for some gold and silver items
like we discussed the budget and so we bu we bought everything according to the budget but you can go as mo like very expensive you can go cheaper so whatever you decide and that's what that's why you need to meet up before this uh, exchange happens and decide how much what what's going to be the budget who are you going to giving gifts to because you want it to be pretty equal for both sides uh, and then there is like th those gifts for relatives that's usually the closest relatives which is like father mother they get the the most expensive gifts and then the sisters the brothers and things like that but they provide the the list of people and then there is something called korjan which is like a felt type of bag with two um, pockets and in those pockets they go uh, there's like tea there is uh, sweets there's nuts and like sometimes alcohol and then there's definitely some kind of textile that goes in there so we were shopping for that and we were like uh, making it very presentable and then there's three type of buckets that we fulfill which with one with candy one with some kind of you know maybe like cookies and bakery stuff and then the third one is i think it, one was with tea yeah one was with like a lot of tea the other one was sweets the chocolates and the other one was bakery stuff we came to buy some sweets from the local sweets company it's called rahat our fourth time shopping for all of those little things for a marriage of my brother and we came for some nuts and some tea get to the Kudaluk, um, we gather all the women from that family, from Bride's family, and they sit down around the, sit around the table and that table is filled with like three um, buckets of like sweets and stuff and then the, the bag with Khorjan, which is in the middle, and then they, the most respectable woman starts to open it up and then to split it between all the women and those that did, couldn't make it. And around that Khorjan bag, there's also a little pieces of jewelry that we put on some kind of bulavka <laughs> I forgot what that is but we like attach little types of jewelry they're not like real jewelry but they're just like something uh, nice to have there and everything gets split among everyone who came and yeah the whole idea of Kudaluk is just to bring the families closer to each other to make them meet each other to show their hospitality to be the most like open and like welcoming and that's all made in with the purpose of with the purpose of um, wishing all the best to the new family that's forming. Yeah. 